in this video i'm going to solve few problems related to momentum and impulse and principal conservation of momentum okay so let's start with the first question where we have a ball been dropped and hits the floor with a speed of 25 meter per second and bounce off vertically with a speed of 10 meter per second okay and the time of impact is 5 meter per second so we want to calculate the average impact force okay so first sketch the situation okay so we have u25 and we have v to be positive 10 meter per second okay don't forget that your u must have a negative sign since it's moving downward so we can apply equation for average impact force that is m v minus u over t okay this actually refer to equation of impulse okay so substitute all the information given and we get the answer to be 350 newton okay let's proceed with question 2 where we have a marble p collides head on with marble q okay in the opposite direction after the collision marble p moves in the same direction with speed 2 meter per second so we want to find the velocity of marble q after the collision okay so first sketch our um, situation first okay so we have p and q and both are moving in opposite direction that is initially and at the final situation after the collision p still moving to the right but we need to check check out where does our marble q move and with and with what magnitude does it travel okay so list down all the information given in the question okay as shown in the video then we apply principal conservation of momentum to solve this type of question okay so principal conservation of momentum state that p initial mass equal to p final of a system okay So first we need to write mp up plus mq uq that is for initial momentum and mp vp plus mq vq for the final momentum so we want to find our vq okay so substitute all the information given in the equation into the equation above okay Okay, so the answer that we get that is VQ equal to 2.5 meter per second. Since it's positive 2.5 meter per second, this means it's moving to the right. That is in the same direction as P. Okay, proceed with question 2. So how to check either it is a inelastic or elastic collision. Okay, so to check this the type of collision we need to apply conservation of energy or conservation of kinetic energy okay so we check k initial equal to k final this will give you a, an elastic collision but if k initial not equal to k final so this is an inelastic collision okay let's first start by calculating the initial uh, initial kinetic energy by using 1 over 2 mp up square plus half mq uq square so substitute all the information so we get 6.3 joule and for the final kinetic energy okay same method and we get 0 0.675 joule okay since the k initial not equal with k final this means that the collision is an inelastic collision okay proceed with question 3 where we have a homemade rocket moving at a speed of 45 meter per second so it breaks into two pieces of equal mass okay so we need to find the magnitude of v1 and v2 so let the mass of the rocket to be m okay so once it breaks it will be half m for both of the rocket okay so the initial speed that the rocket travel is 45 meter per second to the right okay how about the 
velocity, final velocity for V1 and V2. Okay, since it's moving in an angle 60 degree, okay, and 30 degree for V1 and V2, so we need to resolve it first. Okay, in the video, I already show step by step on how to resolve the velocity for X and Y component. Okay, so once we're done resolving all the velocity, now we can apply principal conservation of momentum to solve momentum in two dimension. Okay, so we have x component, so m equal to ux equal to m1 v1 x plus m2 v2 x. Substitute all the information given and since m is the same, so we can just cancel both sides. So we left with 45 equal to 0 0.25 v1 plus 0 0.435 v2 as the first equation. Okay, now let's solve for the y component. Okay, so for y component, we apply principal conservation of momentum. So we have m uy equal to m1 v1 y plus m2 v2 y. Okay. Since our ui equal to zero, there is no motion involved in the y component initially, okay? So, we let it to be zero, okay? And substitute all the information that we have into the equation, okay? So, we can cancel our m since m for left hand side are the same. So, we left with, okay, 1 over 2 times with 0 0.5 v2 equal to 1 over 2 times with 0 0.87 v1 so we cancel half for both sides so v2 becomes 0 0.87 divided by 0 0.5 v1 that is equation equation number two so now we substitute equation two into equation one okay so 45 equal to 0 0.25 v1 plus 0 0.435 substitute our v2 that is 0 0.87 divided by 0 0.5 times with V1. Okay, so solve the uh, problem, solve the equation. So we get V1 equal to 44.55 meter per second. Okay, substitute this value of V into our second equation. Okay, so we get V2 to be 0 0.87 divided by 0 0.5 times with 44.55. So we get 77.52 meter per second. Okay, so that's all for this chapter. Don't forget to subscribe.